this is the Lion Lord. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to make easy terrains for your maps. It's really simple, actually. Um, but before we do this, I want you to have these the following things. You must have basic 3D Studio Max knowledge. I'm gonna be using 3D Studio Max 8. You must have some Halo mapping knowledge. I'm just going to be covering the modeling part. Um, and you need to have 3D Studio Max, of course. Goals. By the end of the video, you will be able to quickly make 3D ter terrains without too much fuss. Unless you'd like to make it yourself. That's fine with me. It's just for those lazy people who want to make it quickly. Um, and you will be able to use height maps more efficiently. Alright. Now we're going to get to the tutorial now. Okay. So, the program we use is called L3DT. It's a useful program to r generate um, 3D terrains and other stuff. So, to get it, you go to www.bundysoft.com slash L3DT. Once again, it's www.bundysoft.com L3DT. Once you're there, you'll probably see this screen right here. We need to get the program. So, you go to Downloads, and go to Standard. Then you go to the first one down here, and click Download. I already have it, so, once you finish with that, um, you can move on to the actual program itself. So, open it. You'll get a little pop-up saying, would you like to configure it to first time use or something like that like a walkthrough thing we won't need to use that since I've already gone through that and I'll do your lazy work for you see walkthrough guide alright you'll go to new map which is all the way up here go to design inflate I suggest doing 8 by because then it makes it 512 by 512 for the height map, which is a good thing. Then you click next and set it forever, whatever you want. You can choose the climate you want. You just set it forever. I usually use artificial, and I and I usually change this thing here. I'm gonna have mainly land maps, so I'm just gonna do that. First, you're gonna click. Don't check anything else. First, you check the design map. It should be calculating. I'm gonna pause this and wait for this to finish. Okay, so it's finally finished. It actually took a bit shorter than I expected. I just had to do that. So I'm just going to keep it like that. So I wouldn't recommend maximizing it. Now go back to the calculation wizard over here. Do height map. And it should do say a whole bunch of stuff right here. This is the weird part where it shows all those pixely thingies. That means it's generating a general height map f of your map. This won't be the thing, but you can get a good idea of what it looks like. Go back to the calculation wizard, go to water map. Just click next, don't check anything. And ignore the numbers. And more pixely thingies. That's just what we need. And there. That should be what water looks like. Then we go to attributes map in the calculation wizard again. And then more 
that stuff. You don't need to see anything here. It doesn't matter. Go to Terrain Normals, and it, sh it should sh show this weird neon colors here. Uh, go back to the Calculation Wizard now. Go to Light Map. Ignore all the stuff. This will generate the lights. And you can see here, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. But we're not done. Yet. Yeah, we're almost done. So go back to Calculation Wizard. Go to Texture Map. Next. Ignore all that. This is good. And it should generate your map. That is what it should look like. Alright, now that we're done with that, you can click export this map. Don't check that, check that, because it's going to resize it to size 512. Save it to whatever you want, I'm just going to save it to my desktop as tutorial. Alright, and then once you do that, you should see your little thingy down there. You don't need to save. It's not really necessary once you have the map. Unless you'd like to go back, then you could just save it. Alright, now that we've been, now we've gotten through this, now we need to get through this. So, open 3D Studio Max, I already have it open, and once that's done, make a box. I usually, I recommend making it a box of size 8,000 by 8,000 and the height at 5,000. Oh, sorry, if you hear the whistling, that's just my dad. name it whatever you would call it skybox level doesn't really matter all right once you have that done I'm gonna show you how to use that terrain to make the map so we'll doesn't matter how my length just set it to one because it's easier that way convert it to edible mesh select all the ones that you want for the sky and hide it Oh, I forgot. First, you need to select all the faces and flip it. Then you select the sky faces and hide it so that you only get this right here. Select it, and then we're going to go down to tessellate. Set it the, from 25 to 0 and then tessellate until up here says 512. Once you have that, go down to the edit editing bar, go to displace, set the strength to 1000, and then here's when we add the map. Go down to wherever you saved that image from L3DT, and then you should see your map. See? Now, how simple is that? Beautiful. And then if you want, you can change the strength, like Oops. Of course, that's what you added, so maybe two thousand, or even better, just leave it at one thousand. That's what I'm doing. So, if you want to go back to editing, go to convert to edible mesh. It should stay that way. If you switch to edible mesh with that still open, it won't apply it. So you have to convert it again to edible mesh. Uh, I'm not sure.
sure if you can use the texture you have to apply to it, but I'm going to try it. Might be a bit of help if it works. Oh, would you look at that? It does work. Just set it to all land so that you don't have to deal with the water if you're a beginner mapper. And don't want to deal with the technical stuff for adding stuff like water. If you want to add water, there is a tutorial that Halo Guru has that um, shows you how to make water. If you want more tutorials or you want to post feedback, Please go to www.halo. Sorry. Please go to www.lioncustomedition.co.nr. As shown here, www.lioncustomedition.co.nr. And it should take you to the site. Then you can go to the tutorial section. I haven't posted a thing for the uh, tutorial yet, but I will. This will be available on Halo Maps, and I'm going to post a feedback area for tutorials in on my website, so that if you sign up, you can use it. Because remember. You need to sign up for unlimited access. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it really helped you. And once again, we you should, at this point, be able to cr quickly generate 3D terrains and use height maps more efficiently. This is the Lion Lord, and I'm just saying good luck with your Halo mapping.